I remember you telling me about, you know, Wigner's sentence about the miraculous effect of mathematics. Reality, yeah, the unreasonable effect. Reality yeah. hint, hints. I mean, there is again this experience that reality hints to very simple, elegant general principles, which at the same time always escape us. So whether it's worth it. I mean, I think it is worth it like it was worth, you know, building great cathedrals. If it is in a strict uh, practical technological sense, some of these things at some point are not worth it. But it is one of the few areas in which our time does something gratuitously, in which we do something just for the sake of the beauty of it. I don't begrudge the people who want to do that. I mean, the idea that science has to be useful, of course, within reason, is not correct. I mean, it is a spiritual activity in some sense. It is also like poetry or art. I think it, it should be pursued within reason. Whether reality, ultimately, we are going to find the, the formula for everything, I don't think so. I mean, there is simply the problem of scale. You know, there was an, an interesting book by, I don't know if you know, David Baum. You know, David Baum, the American physicist, his case was that physics will always be incomplete because there is always the next scale. You can always look at something bigger, something smaller, something on shorter time, something on a longer time, and all your models at some point break, right? So if you go down closer and closer to the Big Bang, closer and closer to the microscopic Planck scale, at some point you need to change the model because it, it will stop working. And, and so there is, in that sense, a certain infinity to physics. But what is remarkable is that within certain scales, you can describe the world with really elegant, simple mathematical models. And that's an amazing thing.